Tonight, the Coast Guard says the all out search for a missing submersible has ended in tragedy. The remains of the vessel found by an unmanned machine after traveling from Buffalo to the North Atlantic to assist in that search and rescue that's now turned into a recovery. Good evening, everyone. I'm Michael Wooten and I'm Kelly Dudzig. The five people who were in the submersible are presumed dead tonight after a firm with a base in East Aurora helped find debris from it. An unexpected connection that Channel 2's Ron Plants explains tonight. The sad definitive word on this major search for the Titan submersible emerged during the afternoon press conference. We found uh, five different major pieces of, of debris that uh, told us that it was the uh, remains of the Titan. And from the Coast Guard Admiral in charge, we learned that the East Aurora based Pelagic Research Services remotely piloted underseas craft called the Odysseus 6K actually found the debris field of the Titan near the bow of the Titanic wreckage with an explanation of its key part in this difficult mission. With the equipment uh, that was brought on site this morning uh, that we were using uh, was a, a pelagic ROV uh, capable of operating at 6,000 meters, uh, cameras, sonar, uh, other uh, articulating arms and, and uh, resources on it. Uh, and it, uh, you know, we had to transport it here through C-17 uh, aircraft. This is two aircraft that it took to get this up here. The gear got up there through those C-17 Air Force cargo planes seen loading up Pelagic gear on Tuesday at the Buffalo Niagara International Airport. It had been housed in a rather nondescript East Aurora business park. The planes flew from Buffalo to St. John's in Newfoundland, which was the staging site for the ocean search. And on board the ship, the Horizon Arctic, the search involving Odysseus on the ocean floor was led by Edward Cassano of East Aurora, who is the CEO of Pelagic. We've really had the, the right uh, gear on site and worked uh, as, uh, as, as uh, swiftly as possible to bring all of the capabilities that we had to bear uh, to uh, this search and rescue effort. And that nine member Pelagic crew aboard the Canadian ship, the Horizon Arctic, still on scene in the North Atlantic right now, continuing to scan the seafloor with the Odysseus. Now that ROV, the Odysseus, has grappling craw claws. It's not clear if they're gonna try to lift any debris from the Titan, which had a catastrophic implosion, crushed by the extreme water pressure at that depth of 12,000 feet. Ron Plants, Channel 2 News.